Hey guys, it's Comcolors News here. We are back at Great Adventure for New Year's Eve. It is one, two, three, one, two, three today. And over there, I do see some new flagpoles have been up, put up around the Holly and the Park sign. You can see that their bases have also been painted. So I imagine they're planning on using that for all the events throughout the year in 2024. Of course, there's only two days left, including today until Great Adventure is closed for the 2023 season. They're open today, New Year's Eve and tomorrow, New Year's Day. And then that is it until March 16th, which we believe to be opening day 2024. But today we're gonna be looking for a lot of updates around the park. Haven't been here in a little over a week. I didn't go over winter break, but decided to come out now. So. We're gonna go check out what the park has to offer. They wound up letting us in the park a full 15 minutes early. I think they're gonna hold us at the fountain like they did last time, but really nice to see us getting in early like this. They've let us in the park, so our first ride of the day it is gonna be Justice League. Would have had my record this time, but it glitched out, so. Yeah? So we just did four rides on Justice League and that fourth ride you saw I ended with around 407,000. I probably could have gotten my new record on that ride had it not been for the ride faulting. Uh, two of the four rides, during the middle of the ride, we kind of stopped and then didn't rotate for the rest of the ride. It didn't stop for the full duration of each scene because there was some stacking. So fortunately it was a little iffy, but still a great ride nonetheless. Now we're gonna go check on Flash. But those crates back there are very likely, honestly, for Flash. <laughs> so we're walking around Great Adventure. We found some fans here. How's your day going so far? Good. Is it cold? Mm -hmm. It's really cold. <laughs> and now we're going on the, we're trying to go on the jet ski today. So we're just going around. We're going to show you around. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day going? Good. What'd you ride so far? And how'd you do on it? I did, I did pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. We're going to try again. We're going to get, we're going to try to get a higher score this time, but we're having fun. It's a little cold, but it's a nice day. Low crowds. We're looking forward to walking around and just walking around chilling today. Absolutely. Bye. Fortunately, Nitro is not open quite yet. So we're going to go for a ride on Batman. Got off a nice back row ride on Batman, was running real fast and intense. So we saw our buddy James operating the ride today. Now we're gonna go for a ride on Skyway. The park is looking pretty empty today. Over here at the Dream Street Path, there's been a lot of progress since our last visit. All of the concrete from the first tent to a little past the last tent has been completely ripped out. You can see the machine is still in there as well. They also ripped out all the concrete that used to be in that weird pathway they had over here. So it's all open up. Um, they probably stop work until the end of the season now. So this is going to be as much as we're going to see because they're not going to do work on New Year's Eve. Um, but it's looking really good. Love seeing the progress and bricks are still on sale. And as, I, as far as I know, they're not stopping the sale anytime soon. So get them whenever you get the chance to because you'll be a permanent part of Great Adventure. There's just a little bit of concrete remaining right there for them to take out. And it looks like they do have something over there for that. But otherwise, it's all gone. This whole area is going to look really nice with the bricks added. Still curious about how they're exactly they're going to lay it out because you can see that there's some trees still in that area, like that one over there and this one over here. So it'll be interesting to see how they route everything around. Looks like they have a machine back there by Log Flume. Not sure if it's going to be used for Log Flume or if it's just being stored back there, but that's the first sign of movement we've seen with Log Flume. Um, like I said earlier in the vlogs, I imagine they're not going to do much of anything with it until the off season begins. And in that spot we've been watching on Toro, it does look like there's been some new wood placed on the track or the catwalk rather. Uh, so good to see some progress there. And I could just be noticing this, but the wheel is repainted on Log Flume. It could have been like this for a little while or maybe they just did it. I didn't notice, but it looks really nice. See some stuff that has been done back there in the back half of the Log Flume station as well. So looks like they've probably done a little bit of work here and there getting some of the parts in there. Not seeing any progress down at the boardwalk. Pretty much everything at the parachute still looks the same. Green Lantern's new poster is like a lot of the other stuff, I think they're waiting until the park is closed for the season. 
right here we have one of the bricks that you can buy. One of the, there's four different logos you can choose from. That's the original 1974 logo. Unfortunately, Nitro still has yet to open. So given that I just uh, made the year in review video, I got to take a look back at the countless number of Barnstormer clips from all the vlogs, and I did not expect it to still not be open. So at this point, I have no clue when it will open. Um, hopefully soon, probably in 2024. Uh, this was supposed to be open for 2022, and it is still not open at the end of 2023. So I know it's had quite the long construction process for whatever reason, just a kid ride, but um, it's been <laughs> very entertaining to watch this saga unfold, and it's still not done. Next up, we're gonna go for a ride on Dark Knight. Dark Knight was good. Now we're gonna go hang out for a little bit in the Polar Pub. Played some Xbox inside the lounge to warm up a little bit, and it looks like Nitro's open, so I think we're gonna head over there. Just did four rides on Nitro, and both of the trains are running completely different. D train is actually running really fast, and C train, not so much, but four rides, we're good. We rode in a variety of seats. Dad, how was Nitro? Really good. It's actually running pretty quick for how cold it is. I'd agree. I think now we're gonna go take a ride or two on Jersey Devil. We'll see how much I can take. Rise on Devil is running pretty good. We are going to cut out of Great Adventure a little early, mainly because there's no fireworks and we kind of figured we did everything we wanted to do, but it was a great day nonetheless. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for New Year's Day just to get one last visit in with the crew. Uh, but it was a good visit nonetheless. Road Devil, Nitro a few times, a few other rides. Overall, solid visit, Dad. Pretty good visit. Kind of burnt out today, but... That's what it is. Yeah, I, I am pretty disappointed, unfortunately, that there aren't going to be any fireworks, so definitely have me stay, but oh well, hopefully we'll defer that to next year and we'll have a great year in 2024, but with that being said, that is going to conclude today's video. By the time this comes out, it's probably 2024, so happy New Year's. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.